From the moment they switched on the lights this morning, millions were paying higher bills. Just as the weather changes, customers like this face the biggest rise to energy costs since the price cap began in 2019. We need heat. We're getting colder months now. Um, for me, it's really, really bad timing. Um, and uh, with that financial increase, we're left at quite a large deficit to try and find when there are no options for us really out there to be able to fill that void. Today's energy price cap changes mean an average £139 a year rise to 1277 for those on standard variable tariffs. It's £153 for prepayment customers. More than 15 million households are affected. Once you tell them you want to switch, they start the ball rolling straight away. For years, through adverts like this, switching was touted as the way to save. But now good alternative deals have disappeared. Here at Citizens Advice, frontline workers say that, afraid to put on heating, some customers are buying hot water bottles and extra duvets. For years, people on these standard variable tariffs have been told, switch away and get off them. What on earth is the advice to them now? Well, you're better off staying with your supplier and thinking about other things you can do to maybe change the way you use energy in your home, um, make energy efficiency improvements if you can. Charities fear bad weather could greatly escalate the problem and senior figures in this industry concede that many customers will need more help through the coming winter. We have got four million households in fuel poverty. Clearly we have to look at that. We don't want a situation where people are worried about heating their home. Because at the moment only about two million are getting help. And there's a real question about how we target the support that's available and there is support available but we need to make sure that it goes to the right people. We need more and, and that needs to happen quickly, doesn't it? I would say so, yeah. This surge in wholesale prices is largely caused by a rise in demand as economies reopen from the pandemic. Already it's caused corporate chaos with 10 power firms collapsing. Now many millions of customers will feel the impact.